Hi, I'm Mark, poster specialist for the Prop Store, and today I'm pleased to present to you two exceptional pieces of Star Wars memorabilia, which will be offered in our forthcoming Cinema Poster Live auction later this year on December the 8th and 9th. As you can see, this is the original painted artwork by Josh Kirby, a concept design for The Empire Strikes Back, and this is the corresponding ferref proof print for the same artwork. Now it was by pure coincidence that these pieces came to us. The Ferref Archive we've represented before in our last auction and there's also a sizeable amount of content for this latest auction. And whilst going through the collection, we came across the negative for this print and we're absolutely blown away. It's one of those pieces that's rarely seen the light of day and probably was only ever seen in 1980 when it was produced by the artist for Ferref. And then, a few weeks later, we were actually offered this original artwork from an extensive private collection that we will be featuring some pieces in this auction and in our further auctions for 2022, there'll be more exceptional pieces, including some more Star Wars original art. As you can see, they're almost identical. The negative which we made the print from differs slightly from the original artwork in terms of Darth Vader's cape and also the size and scale of some of the characters is bigger on the original painting. But aside from that, it's almost an exact replica. Now what happened at the time was, Star Wars producers and George Lucas would approach advertising companies, in this case Ferref, with a remit for what they wanted on their cinema campaign posters. And for this, there were four main requisites. You had to include Han Solo and Princess Leia, in an almost Gone with the Wind style embrace, which was one of the early concept ideas by Roger Castell, based in the USA. Luke on a Tauntaun was one of the defining images from the film, as was the Cloud City Bespin, and also the inclusion of the new character, Lando Carizian. As you can see in this original artwork, it's fully painted using watercolors and gauche. There may be some crayon in there as well, and the Star Wars Empire Strikes Back title logo is a snipe, this is stuck on. Josh Kirby has signed this one, Kirby, but that's been blacked out on the negative from Ferref. It's, uh, it is a shame this wasn't published, but it is still an incredible piece of Star Wars original artwork. And Star Wars original artwork rarely, rarely comes onto the market. At the time, in the 1980s when it was done, it was considered to have little or no value, so a lot was thrown away. So we're absolutely delighted to include this and the corresponding ferref proof print, which does come with the original negatives, in this Cinema Poster Live auction happening later on in the year. And now, by the magic of the force, we're going to introduce you to two new posters. One that you'll be very familiar with, and the other, I doubt many of you have seen before. So, well, I hope my mastery of the Force reached Jedi levels and that you can now see these two very different posters to what we had before. This I hope you'll be very familiar with. It's the US One Sheet Style C poster by the British artist Tom Chantrell. And it's this imagery that has become familiar with so many Star Wars fans. Chantrell absolutely nailed the characters and the composition. It totally exemplifies what the film is about, which is a fun, action-packed space opera of the highest degree. You've got your heroes, Luke, Han, Leia, and you've got your villain. The X-Wings, you've got R2-D2, C-3PO, Chewbacca. It is just a marvellous, marvellous illustration and you would be hard pushed to find a better example of this poster than the one we're happy to present in our Cinema Poster Live auction this December. This actually comes from the producer Howard Kazanjian, who is well known for his work on not only the Star Wars franchise, but Raiders of the Lost Ark. The condition on this is exceptional. It's unrestored, it's tri-folded so that there's no centre fold line, and just so you know that it's original, there's no hair on R2-D2. This was reproduced several times as a commercial poster and also some fakes and forgeries, but this is original. 
and the provenance is unquestionable. It's a fantastic poster and in a condition that collectors really, really want. In 1979, their marketing team devised an advertising campaign for the popular soft drink, which included a representation of a robot as a can of Coca-Cola. They called it the Cobot. I'm sure you can see the likenesses are unquestionable. This is R2-D2 as a can of Coke. It might have seemed like a good idea at the time, but in 1979 when George Lucas found out about it, that this was going to be an advertising campaign for Coca-Cola, he immediately instructed his lawyers to shut it down. And that's exactly what happened. Lucas's lawyers served Coca-Cola and the whole advertising campaign based around R2-D2 looking like a can of Coke was cancelled, literally overnight. Very, very few examples of this promotional poster exist as there weren't many distributed. But this was one of the ones sent out to a retailer and thankfully it's survived the test of time and we can present it in our auction. Thank you for watching today. I'm pleased that I could share these items with you. And if you want any more information about what you've seen today, then you can email me, mark at propstore.com, or you can log on to propstore.com forward slash poster auction, where any of our team would be happy to help you with any questions that you may have. Thank you.